guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna be doing a guacamole recipe really simple it's really only got like seven ingredients um, super easy to make it's actually a, a little spin on Chipotle's um, guacamole recipe and you guys can use this for any of your of your other foods that you're putting it in um, that you're adding guac to for very cheap if you buy ready-made guacamole is very expensive at the store so this you can make in just a couple of minutes with a few ingredients and it's actually a lot better than the store made stuff with no preservatives or chemicals. Okay guys, so here we have uh, two Haas avocados and basically what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to roll them a little bit just to kind of uh, break up the meat inside the avocado so it'll be easier to scoop out. Not a lot of pressure because you're going to break it but just a little bit of a roll kind of break out the meat in the avocado then we're going to slice it down the middle let me get the seed out like that careful you don't cut yourself when you're doing that How easy that comes out. Okay, so next we're going to take a spoon and we're going to scoop out the meat of the avocado into a bowl. And when you pick your avocados, you want to make sure that they're they're soft, um, just because if they're hard, they're not going to work for this. They're, gonna, they're not going to be ripe. Okay, so there we have the meat from the two avocados. Now we're going to take a fork and we're going to mash them up. Not all the way through but just a little bit. We're going to add our lime juice. We're going to add two teaspoons of lime juice. A quarter teaspoon of salt. You can add a little more if you like. You know, a little bit more salt, a half a teaspoon if you like. A quarter teaspoon is a good starting point. We're going to add a half of jalapeno, finely minced. We're going to add two tablespoons a finely minced cilantro a quarter cup of diced red onion and this is my own little twist to the recipe which adds some crunch um, to the recipe and some coolness to it this is a quarter cup of diced cucumber it adds a really nice uh, texture and um, taste to the to the recipe. And you're gonna take all those ingredients and mix them up. You don't really need a food processor for this fork will work just fine. You can mix it pretty thoroughly. So basically, there you have it. That's basically your homemade guacamole. You can use that for a lot of different recipes for your burritos. If you're doing nachos, fajitas, you can use it as a, as a spread on bread. Um, so many things you can do with it. Um, it's all natural, homemade, and it's about a quarter of the price what you would pay if you went to the store and you, and you bought the already made stuff with all the preservatives in it. Okay guys, so there you have it. There's your all natural uh, guacamole, all natural ingredients, no preservatives, homemade and you're paying about a quarter of what you would paid for the store made stuff uh, with all the chemicals and preservatives. As you can see, you can make it in a few minutes with only like seven ingredients. 
uh, super simple and you could make different variations of it if you like uh, remember to subscribe and like the video if you guys have any other variations of different types of guacamole that you, you may have or recipes comment below and um, maybe we'll try them out thank you